Bitcoin is bleeding and we're going to be back testing a trading strategy called the no pulse profits. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Hey traders, I hope you're going extremely well. My name is David and welcome back to my channel where I go through profitable trading strategies. Today we're going to be looking at another trading strategy that I found in the wonders of the World Wide Web. Today we're going to be looking at the No Pulse Trading Strategy, a trading strategy which uses a couple of my favorite indicators, which makes it even better for me. If you stick around to the end, I'm also going to be sharing with you the trading strategies that I'm adding with bots to my portfolio and sharing them in the excel spreadsheet that i shared last week don't forget also guys i'm giving away one million bonk to a random comment in every video for the next month so don't forget to comment maybe just share your favorite indicator down below this video while you're down there if you don't mind giving the video a good old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and also don't forget to subscribe i do videos monday wednesday and friday activate that little bell button because unless you do you probably will never ever see me again okay so maybe not a bad pet thing for some people but anyway right let's get over to the trading strategy let's go okay here i am on trading view i on BTC USDT on a 30 minute time frame using data from Bybit. We're going to be adding indicators. Now, before I go any further, you can get a list of all the indicators from david.tech indicators, where you'll find a list of all of the open source free indicators that I use inside of my videos. Just add them to your favorites and you'll be able to find them easily in the search bar above. Okay, the first indicator that we're going to be adding today is going to be the FVMA, which is the Fantail VMA. You can either use the David Tech version or you can use the uh, Big Sword version just here. So we've clicked on it and added it to our charts. We're going to set this up by clicking on the settings button just here. We're going to set our ADX length for to three, our weighting to 13 and our MA length to six. Now this will add this white line to our chart, which is gonna give us what we call our base line. It's gonna tell us in which direction to trade. When a price is above the white line, we're looking for longs. And when it is below like this, we're actually looking for shorts. So this is called our baseline. The baseline gives us our trend direction, whether it's bullish or bearish. Okay, the next indicator we're going to add is called the McGinley or the McGinley, whichever you like. McGinley by David Tech over here. Dynamic, we're going to be adding that one there. We're going to be changing the length to nine. And this is the blue line on our chart. Now, this is going to be our confirmation indicator. So as you can see, price tends to go above the actual FVMA very, very quickly. And we want price to cross over the blue line to take an entry. So this here would be our entry just here as we've gone across both those, the blue line and the white line. So that is giving us our entry. But obviously, as you can see in choppy markets or choppy or sideways moving markets and actually probably losing money all the way in this choppy area here. OK, so our second indicator that we're going to be adding is going to be called the what an utter is the what an utter explosion by lazy bear just here. This looks like a flattened out version of the uh, MACD, which is very true inside of the algorithm itself. All we're looking for is candles to be green and us to be above this orange line not sure whether you can see the orange line so let's make it white and this white line which was orange is called the explosion line for us to be able to take a long entry we need green candles and we need those green candles to be above the explosion line for shorts we need candles to be red and we need for them to be above the white line as well okay so that is our baseline and our two confirmation indicators now let's add a volatility indicator or a volume indicator or why not both Okay, for our volatility indicators, we're going to be using the ADX and the stiffness index. Let's add those to our chart. So the first one we're going to be using is the ADX. ADX, which is also one of my favorite indicators. I'm going to be using the ADX and MA by David Tech. For us to be able to take our entries, like our previous entry here, we would like for the ADX to cross above that blue line. So we'd actually wait an extra candle until we get in. 
The ADX indicator just tells us whether we can take entries or not, whether it's long or short. We would just like it to be red above blue, the red being the ADX and the blue being an MA. So here, as you can see, it would have got us in a little bit later, but it just confirms our entries. Okay, the next one is going to be the stiffness index. The stiffness index indicator by David Tick just here. Very much like the ADX, we have a very, very simple algorithm, but very, very good at what it does. The stiffness index, like the ADX, it keeps us out of markets where market movement is going too sideways or too choppy and will get us stopped out all the time. The stiffness is this yellow line and the red line here is just a, a threshold. So for the stiffness, what we'd like is yellow to be above the red. This is a little bit too strict for me. I prefer for my, my threshold to be about 75, especially as we already have quite a good trading strategy. So when the yellow is above the red, we can confirm and take any of those entries in that area. So let's have a look at a long entry on the chart. Okay, here we are with our long entry. As you can see, our white line is above our blue line and price is actually above it. We have the Wadata in green and above the white line. So we're looking for longs. ADX is above, the red is above the blue. And we have the stiffness index, which is the yellow line above the red. So that has confirmed all of our indicators are bullish. Let's put a long entry on this candle here. Now to set our stop losses and take profits, we're going to be using the ATR bands, either by Alexander TH or by David Tech. Doesn't make no difference. They're pretty much the same. To set up the ATR bands, we're going to press the cog over here and we're going to set the upper and lower bands to three, just like that. And we're going to set our stop loss to that green line like that. Then we're going to be looking for a risk to reward of 1.1. Boom. And there you go. You would have taken 1.43% out of the market. Absolutely brilliant. Let's have a look at a short. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a short here. As you can see, our blue line is above the white line. We are trending below both the white and the blue line. We have the Wada Atta in the red and it is above the white line there as well. The ADX is trending red above blue, perfect. And the stiff index, although the trend seems to be slowing down, we are still above our threshold, yellow above red. We're gonna add a short here, just like that on this candle here. We're gonna set our stop loss to the ATR bands and we're gonna be looking for a risk to rewards of one to 1.1. One to 1. 1. Boom, that one was perfect, but some trades might be about less than 1%. I will be coding into my trading strategy that the minimum amount of take profit will be 1% to make sure that I cover for fees and don't just pay fees for every winning trade. Because of course, yes guys, in all of my trading strategies, I include fees. Not all of them have slippage because of the way that everybody's using different markets. But inside of Discord, I do try to explain uh, how slippage works and I'm also working on algorithms so that I can do every single coin pair and estimate what slippage would be on your exchange. But that's something for the future, something that you'll have to bake into yourself into this strategy but i'm doing my best to be as transparent as possible right okay let's get back over to the charts i'm going to be coding this so that we can back test it all the way back to 2020 or hopefully further if possible right let's get to coding come on david and once again he's got to code a new strategy he'll be back in just five minutes come on david show us show us what you got Guys, before I go over to the backtesting results, I'd love to present to you my brand new website where you can trade all of the David Tech strategies, the elite backtesters. We are over 100 people optimizing trading strategies together. Come and be part of the elite backtesters. And not only will you be able to become part of an absolutely fantastic group of like-minded people, but you'll also be able to connect all of these trading strategies to bots in a couple of seconds. Literally choose the trading strategy that looks best to you. You can see all of the results transparent on your screen although this one might not be one for you but it's a good example click copy bot add your exchange and it will take all of those trades on your exchange 100% automatically whether you're with Bybit, OKX, 2Bit, Bing X, Binance, BitGet, CoinW whichever exchange you want to trade on we've probably got a solution for you you'll also be able to find great deals to all of those exchanges down in the description below come join us we're making a movement guys we're going to beat their hedge funds by working together as a collaboration. Thanks to all of the elite bank testers. I look forward to meeting you all in Discord. Right over to the bank testing results. Right, it's all coded, ready for the bank testing results with Trading Views Bank Tester. Drum roll, please. 
and boom right here we go the no pulse profits trading strategy looks absolutely brilliant to me as you can see we've backtested all the way back to 2020 up to today we have almost 200 trades 198 trades a win rate of 60.1 percent which is absolutely brilliant to be able to hold that up throughout the whole of that time we have a profit factor of 1.67 a max drawdown of 26 percent obviously this is leverage trading on 15x leverage so you could actually reduce that quite a lot our net profit the most important thing is 1231 percent which is absolutely amazing let's go over to the table here on a shorter period so this is going all the way back to february last year we have a 63 percent win rate i can't go back further than that with the trading view so that's as far as we can go back we have a max wins in a row with of six and max losses in a row of three total wins 54 total losses 31 and that is for a total of 81 trades so that's why we look at the deep back testing results let's have a look at the buy and hold the buy and hold would have been 393 percent we absolutely smashed that means if you would have brought bitcoin here you would be up 393 percent as we are up to 1231 percent which is absolutely amazing the most recent period of the equity curve looks like this so that's good as well okay i've pulled up the the settings here we're going to take away compounding effect to see how that would work as well as you can see without compounding so you're putting in the same amount of money each trade instead of actually having that compounding effect the equity curve looks even better but the obviously the net profit was a lot less we're around 300 percent 292 percent and our max drawdown has been reduced all the way to 14 percent so it depends how you trade guys and i like to show both equity curves now before i go any further i said i'll share the couple of setups that i'm going to be adding to my trading plan which was my 10,000 to 1 million trading plan i'm going to be sharing those with you right now right here i am back on davidtech.com these are the ones that I'm going to be adding to that sheet. And the last thing that I have to do is to give away 1 million bonk coin. So let's go over to YouTube and find a random comment. Right, we're going to be giving away 1 million bonk to a random comment from this video here. Probably one of my favorite videos. We have 66 comments here and we're going to randomly choose a winner. Boom kill mug 551. Congratulations to you. As Robin would say to Batman, holy bonkers. Batman, absolute brilliant comment. Love it very much. Love the sense of humor. Congratulations to you, mate. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. I'm going to see you on Friday. Thank you very much for the 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's absolutely amazing. We're still growing every day. Two to 3,000 new subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe and press that bell button. Have a great day, guys. Keep safe. Keep trading. Trade like a boss and i'll see you on friday bye bye come on david and once again he's going to call a new strategy he'll be back in just five minutes rsi and macd